enjoyed a great game tonight. Um, we played a fantastic Purdue team. Proud of these guys. Um, we fought through seven guys had the flu this week. Um, Geo practiced yesterday and got the flu this morning. Couldn't play. And what these guys did was the turnaround. They were focused. It's a good basketball team. We keep telling you guys that. And um, you saw tonight a good basketball team. And we're missing a few pieces. So proud of the crowd. The students were unbelievable. The environment, um, the band, the riot squad, the cheerleaders, the dance team, and all the fans in the community come out, make this a hard place to play. Because when we go on the road in this league, it's tough. It's a tough league to go on the road in. And we've made Jersey Mike's now a place that's tough for people to come in and play. So I thank you guys you know, for that. And I thank the fans for coming out and saw it like a history. History was made tonight. All these guys, Cliff coming back into the game. How about the energy Mawak gave his first start uh, off the bench? Ron, we talk about rebounds all the time, gets a double-double. Uh, plays fantastic. Paul did what he's supposed to do, directing our team. Caleb McConnell chased Sasha around, who's one of the best guards in, 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 in the country, um, at moving without the ball. And he's one of the lead three-point shooters. We held a team that averaged 93 points a game to 68. A um, lot of great things tonight. But um, you know, really, really good Purdue basketball team. So um, it took all 40 minutes. And, and I'm real proud of these guys for what they accomplished tonight. Seconds. Is it a blur? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we just kept hanging around. We did a really good job. We were, you know, fighting. And uh, in this game, too, it didn't look like it was going our way a few times. They just stayed the course and made big plays and made big stops. And, you know, we ran a good play there at the end. We just a little mistimed it. And, and I thought Caleb would have been open if he kept going. Uh, but uh, we made up for it. We got, we, we, we got the ball back. and. How about Ron? We've lost a game like that too, so I know what that feels like. So, um, you know, Ron hit hit a shot, and I knew when he left his hands, he, he made it at the shoot around today, same exact shot, and uh, yeah, it was a great feeling. But they earned that win, and and we toughed through a, an unbelievable week, um, you know, and uh, happy, happy for our guys. Steve, you touched on all the great performances tonight, but Ron career high thirty points that that shot, but really the first half he had seventeen points as well. Just what a lot of beats. Play so well tonight, and what can you say about the whole historic performance? Well, I mean, I think you know everybody that checked in the game gave us quality minutes, and and, and Ron will be the first guy to tell you that. Ron and I talk all the time about rebounds. He got his ten rebounds. Um, you know that was as important as anything because Purdue is an excellent. They're beating people on the glass by a hundred, and uh, uh, Ron did a great job. I mean, the whole the whole game. You know, he strung together some halves this year put together a game today and you know real proud of him for that and he's another one of those guys you, you know um, that can do a lot of things we moved him around and a lot allowed him you know to be moved around the floor a little bit and I think that was you know important too but how about the job Cliff did you know coming back in the game and wrestling with two of the best post guys in the country um, we held them it's got to be a season low from three-point land we did a great job defensively um, and, and they played really well. So good sign for us moving forward. But Ron, you know, Ron had one of those nights, uh, unbelievable. And we need him. We need every one of his points, obviously. You guys played with a ton of energy, it seemed all night. With everything going on with the flu, what do you think was key to that? And you know, Gio? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? This team, we practice well, too. And I tell you guys that all the time. We have good practices, and we just need to start stringing together games. Today, they strung together a game the way we practice every day. But we had obstacles all week. Oscar was out, and I got a tip of the hat to Oscar for playing tonight. Jaden Jones was sick as could be. He played. Andre Hyatt was sick as could be. He played. You know, those guys came in and gave us, you know, quality minutes for guys that weren't able to practice, you know, this week, you know, really. And, and just coming back from that kind of a flu, and we got to treat it like COVID. And, you know, it's 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 difficult. So real real proud of those guys that they stepped up and played. And unfortunately, you know, Gio was back in practice, but then he got the flu too. So um, and we had a few of our other guys, you know, get it too. So we had a lot of guys out, and we had to jockey around, but they stayed the course. A lot of obstacles. That's what it is. Purdue's an obstacle. Every game we play is an obstacle, and we fought through it. It did kind of look like the game was going to get away from you guys later. I think we got eight or ten points with a few minutes left to go. What changed? What turned it around? Yeah, I mean, we st started stringing together some stops, you know, and made some timely plays. Obviously, you know, Ron made some huge, you know, plays down the stretch. Uh, Moak gets a huge dunk, too, which got the crowd into it. And, you know, so we needed every point, obviously. Every guy that came in, you know, gave us great minutes. But, uh, 
you know, you're always in the game if you can defend. And, and we were able to do it. And, and again, this team averaged 93 points a game. So it's a really good basketball team on the offensive end. Um, you know, so we strung together some stops. The crowd helped a ton. Uh, we love the fans here. We love when this place is, is an advantage, and, and it certainly was today. What goes through your mind after a shot like that goes in as a coach? Yeah, well, we've lost shot in games like that, too. So it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You beat them yeah. four straight. Yeah. What was that? You beat them four straight. What makes you so difficult for them to play against? Oh, I don't know. I, you know, I wish I knew. They're very good. That's as good a program as there is, you know, in the country. Um, you know, well, they're they're excellent. I mean, that's a national championship team, and he's as good a coach as there is in the country too. So, you know, uh, we we play hard, and, and, and tonight we some timely stops. But from start to finish, we we were tough. We were tough, and I like that about us. We, we brought up the, your comment preseason about this is the best team yet, and you defended it. After getting the biggest win in program history, do you feel vindicated? No, nah, you know, I don't need to. Like, you know, when I tell you guys this, that's how I feel. So I, I believed in this team for the whole time. These guys know it. We're, we're not that far away, even though, you know, like we're a couple three-point bombs away from, you know, being probably where we, we would like to be. But we've hit a lot of obstacles. And I don't need to be vindicated. These kids work their tail off. They do all the right things. That's why we sell this place out and fans come because of the work that they've done. They've led us to two NCAA tournaments. So we're, we, we've, been, we've been pretty good. And when I say my team's good, you saw them tonight. I think they're pretty good. So I'll say it again. And I'll stand by my team. I'll stand by them. And you can blame the losses on me. These guys work. And these guys are great at what they do. So these guys deserve uh, tonight. They really do. What was the locker room like after the game? The locker room was awesome, these guys. And they deserve an awesome locker room. How important? I know it's just one game, but to be one and one now in the Big Ten and now a game over 500 going into a singing all game, how important was this just confidence wise to, to get a win? Like I mean, this? you know, these guys have, you know, they've been confident. They learned from their losses. I think we did a really good job of the things we didn't do in the last game, of, of them correcting themselves in a week's time with flu and all that other stuff. So this team has a chance to be, you know, really good. And, uh, you know, We'll go play. We got to play a great Seton Hall team, and then our next game in the Big Ten is Michigan. I mean, we're playing one, two, and three. That's who we're playing. So, doesn't get any easier. You know, Seton Hall is really good, um, and we're playing on the road. So, you know, we got a tough schedule from here on out, and these guys know they got to play 40 minutes and, pl and play good basketball. And they showed tonight that they're capable of that. You mentioned the, the fans and how important they are. What was it like to kind of see them storm the court after and kind of provide that kind of moment? I love it. I've always loved. I think the fans. Is, are awesome, and, and the students here are great. It's a great university. You know, there's a lot of great things going on here. We've got a great athletic director. We've got a great president. You know, this is a good, good, you know, you know good place, and, and uh, we're building, you know, a really good program. Some exciting moments, and tonight is as, as exciting as any when you take on number one in the country, and they truly deserve to be number one. And um, you saw that. It's great, great people here at Rutgers. You guys good? You need to talk to these guys anyways. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys being here.